Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today we are going to study about the fourth first line anti-tubercular drugs which is known as pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide. So let's start. So pyrazinamide important points regarding pyrazinamide are that that it is inactive at the neutral pH but it is the most active at the acidic pH at i.e. at pH less than 5.5 thus it works best in the macrophages lysosomes where there is acidic pH against the intracellular mycobacterium tuberculosis so it is the most active in the acid pH and inactive at the neutral pH the other important point regarding pyrazinamide is that it acts as the sterilizing agent against some residual intracellular organism that may cause relapse and thus they are active against latent tuberculosis. It acts against it acts as a sterilizing agent against residual intracellular organism that may cause relapse. Now talking about is mechanism of action that how does it works against the mycobacterium tuberculosis so when it enters the mycobacterium tuberculosis it is first converted into pyrazinic acid which is the active form of the drug and this is mainly done by a mycobacterial pyrazinamidase mycobacterial pyrazinamidase and this is encoded by a gene known as PNCA PNCA now what this pyrazinic pyrazinic acid do although it has no specific drug target but they may cause the death of the mycobacterium tuberculosis by the following mechanism and the first one is that, that they may inhibit the pediasis synthase type 1 and this will lead to the interference with the mycotic acid synthesis inhibition of the pt acid synthase type 1 and this will lead to the interference with the mycolic acid synthesis and thus the cell membrane synthesis and there, there will be no cell membrane synthesis and this will lead to the death of the mycobacterium tuberculosis they can also cause death of the mycobacterium tuberculosis by reduction of the intracellular pH and thus making it more acidic and thus making it an unfavorable environment by the mycobacterium tuberculosis it can also cause the death of the mycobacterium tuberculosis by the disruption of the membrane transport system so thus the bacteria cannot transport the essential nutrients required for its survival so these were the some mechanism by which pyrazinic acid cause the death of the mycobacterium tuberculosis how the mycobacterium tuberculosis develop resistance to the this pyrazinamide so it is mainly due to the mutation in this PNCA gene mutation in this PNCA gene will develop resistance towards the pyrazinic acid by the mycobacterium tuberculosis now talking about the pharmacokinetics so they are well absorbed from the GAT after oral administration they are widely distributed throughout the body cavities and it can cross the inflamed meninges and thus it is an essential part of the treatment of the tuberculous meningitis like the vitambutol. It is metabolized mainly in the liver mainly in the liver and the main metabolic products are excreted mainly by the kidneys in the form of urine. So they are used in the treatment of the tuberculosis, they can also be used for the treatment of the tuberculous meningitis and it is also used in the treatment of the latent tuberculosis and thus prevent the relapse of tuberculosis. Talking about the adverse effects, so they can cause the adverse effect 
like the hepatotoxicity which is one of the most common adverse effect due to pyrazinamide and it occurs in about 1 to 5 percent of the patient taking this pyrazinamide drug. It can also cause GI disturbance like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain. It can also cause hyperuricemia and this is due to the decrease or halting its excretion of the urates. And this hyperuricemia can exacerbate the gout causing the acute goitry arthritis. And this is due to this hyperuricemia caused by the pyrazinamide. It also causes hypersensitivity reactions like rashes, urticaria, pruritus, fever, dysuria, interstitial nephritis, and all of these are mainly due to hypersensitivity reactions.